Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Kat. So on today's video, I have a small haul that I've um, has been trickling in from AliExpress. I ordered this maybe three weeks ago, two weeks ago, so a lot of this came relatively quickly. I'm still waiting for more items, so I'll probably have another haul video for you. I do have currently a no spend challenge on my Instagram, so I ordered this well before then, um, but it's been helping, of course, having all these goodies trickling in from Ali. Um, so let's just go ahead and get started. So to start off, um, I ordered these. And I think it comes in a pack of six of them and I ordered a few different colors and they're just the binder rings and they're um, like pastel colors. I love this green, they're uh, perfect for spring or even for Halloween, you know it has kind of like that slime green kind of color. And then I ordered blue which is really pretty. I ordered a pink one and then I also ordered um, purple which I wish this was more of a pastel purple, it's very um, bright purple. And then a white. So these are really cool, they're a pretty good size, um, and these are great for uh, tag flips or little like book flips, you know, really cute, very fun. I'll leave the links for all of these down in the description. So I ordered all of those. I also ordered these, which are really fun. I think they're gonna be great for summer for either chunky tassels or just charms, adding them to projects. So they're these cute little uh, like orange slices. They're acrylic or plastic so really nice and it looks like they're hand painted because they're all a little different i ordered a pack of 10 when i went back to the listing they only have um packs of 50 so i'll still leave the link down below but it's pretty pricey it was well worth it when i ordered it with the pack of 10 so these are really really nice super fun for the summer so i'm really excited about those and i'm sure if you search like um fruit charms or something like that you'll be able to find it or put like um resin fruit charms or acrylic fruit charms you'll be able to find some so really cute can't wait to play with those and then i ordered these and there was actually a little bit more in each bunch but i gifted some to a friend my friend vero who is lulu uh, lulu strunk on instagram so i gifted her some of these but they're really fun they're the little things that you can add to uh like butterflies or you can add to uh, little clusters. So I'm really excited about these. I've initially ordered these to make little flower clusters and just add variation in there with like either pearls or these little things. So really pretty. I ordered in white and this pink and then this robin eggs blue. So really fun. I also ordered these from the same shop I believe. I'm, I'm pretty sure yeah because they came in the same packet. So they're just kind of like the little little gold balls that you can add to clusters as well. I love the color. It's uh, very muted gold, really, really pretty. Super cute, so hopefully it's like focusing for you guys. Really, really cute. And then I ordered these, which they're kind of like, um, I think they were made for bows. They're these really pretty watermelons. They're kind of like fabric. So you can add these to bows or you can add them to projects. So I think these would be cute if you want to make some summer bows or, you know, adding it in layers for your projects. So really pretty. They're sparkly. Super cute. And then before I get to the dies, I also ordered this, which is like the faux leather, um, which is really fun. I want to make some bows out of this. So I ordered two of each kind um, of the ones that I liked. So it's this one with the tropical birds and the fruit. Really fun. The back is this color. It's kind of like a, like a light brown, kind of like neutral color. And yes, it's like that faux leather material. These will be great to make some, um, some bows out of. So I ordered two of those. And then I ordered two of the pink flamingo which is super cute. Love the material. Again, it's got that neutral peachy kind of like brown color in the back. And then the cute flamingos. Loving the colors, loving the print, and it's going to be exciting to make some cute bows out of those. Okay, lastly, we're going to get into the dies that I ordered, and I do have examples out of those. First up are these dies that are ovals. I don't have any ovals in my collection of dies, so these are perfect. I might order some different ones because it only comes with uh, like four different sizes, yes. So they're really fun. 
um, they're double stitched so I'll let you know why they're double stitched on here I thought might have been like the pattern when you cut it out it does the double stitching but there's a reason behind that so here are the cutout parts so you can see here's the different cut up cutouts and you see there's only one stitching so really good sizes I can incorporate this with a different die that I have which is a kind of frame and it fits in perfectly and then here is where I cut them out of so you can see that the stitching the second stitching is on the paper that you cut out of so this is cool because if you want to make a shaker or you want to make a card and you want to cut out like this oval piece you'll have the stitching around so that's really really neat next is um and i thought i had it here somewhere i might have lost it yeah i might have misplaced it i'm not sure where it went but it's this one that says uh wish big and it cuts out really nice I'm trying to see if i could find it but i'm not sure where it went um, but yeah, anyways, it's really nice. It just says wish big and it's all connected. The dots aren't, so those are separated. Um, but it's a really nice die. I like the font on this. Really, really cute. Next, we have this cute little bird. It's I, I love collecting like different types of birds, different types of tropical birds that I can use with my different projects for summer. Um, but this one is not one of my favorites. It was really tricky to use. Um, of course, it's all connected, which already you have to do some um, piecing, like paper piecing together, but it was still tricky beyond that. So here's the one that I have completed, and I added a cute um, little tropical leaf from Alina's craft store in pink. Um, so it's really cute, but the problem is, if you can see right here, it cuts all of this out. So where the little stick is, instead of being like a solid strip, which I think it should have been, instead of like this like separation here. So you can see this indent. What I did is I cut out like another pink paper and put it behind the, um, behind the, uh, what is it, the wing, so that it doesn't look so odd. But still, I'm that's kind of a bummer, but it still looks pretty cute. Of course, I paper pieced everything together. It doesn't come with that little pieces, so you can see it. The die doesn't have a separate um, piece for another wing, but I thought that that would look cute to have the other wing peeking out right here. And then I did all the paper piecing for this. Um, the cheek is, I just cut out another paper. Um, it cut out the little eye part and I used that as a cheek. So I thought that was cute. So I love how it turns out, but it's just so much work. And again, this piece right here really, really, you can see it cuts this piece out. And it cuts it right here too, which that's not that big of a deal because it's between the diff the little feet. But the part where the wing is, this shouldn't have been cut out. And that kind of, you know, when you order from Ally, that sometimes happens. So, oh well, but it's still really cute. And then lastly, um, I ordered this one, which is like the jars, like the mason jars. Really cute. It comes with several, several different pieces. This one was probably the trickiest to take apart. You know how they come fused together? This one was really tricky to um, cut apart, but if you have like wire cutters, super easy. Uh, usually I just twist and um, break it off, but this one I had to use wire cutters on. So it comes with one, two, three, four pieces. So this one is the mason jar. This one cuts out the center. So if you wanna create a shaker out of that, so that's really neat. Or you can use this one separated as well. Then it comes with the label and the, um, the lid for the mason jar. And then this is what I came out with. Really cute. And here's the center. Like I said, you could use these for um, projects as well because they look like flower vases. So definitely save those. You can use something else for that. And here's my project. So what I did is I cut out the whole piece twice. So I cut it out in white and then I cut it out in blue and I cut out the center piece to create like kind of like where the shaker would go. And I also cut out the lid and the label in the same color. And then I use a different tool that I have to create these letters. So I put milk and leche, which leche in Spanish is milk. And I created these tags and I think they're super cute. They're very kawaii. And you can definitely make some like kawaii cookies or something and attach these on there as the little gift tags and you know, put your information on the back. So really, really cute. I love 
this so much. You can definitely create shakers like I mentioned. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below. It really helps my channel out. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you do. Hit that bell so you can be notified about future videos and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!